A rare celestial visitor named Comet A6 Lemon will be lighting up our skies for a few more weeks. Audrey Smith caught up with a local astrophotographer to find out how he captures such stunning pictures of the cosmic traveler. Kenny Smith is a Chat State student by day and an astrophotographer by night, and he was able to give us some pretty cool insight about this unique comet. Comet A6 Lemon first became visible earlier this month. 19-year-old Kenny Smith has a passion for taking detailed photos of the comet, the moon, and even the planets. Another comet, called Comet R2 Swan, has also made headlines, but Smith says to only count on seeing Comet Lemon. That one's a bit more far away. Even the prof I probably want to attempt it because it's only going to be a fuzzy little green dot way out in space. This one, low to the horizon, big long tail, easy to see by any with a phone or literally just a little camera like this. You can also use a pair of binoculars to see the comet. It's visible about an hour after sunset to the left of the Big Dipper. For the best view, find a high spot above the tree line with clear skies away from city lights. When photographing the comet, the telescope moves in the opposite direction of the Earth's rotation to stay locked on the stars. Longer light exposures help capture the comet's tail as a bright streak in the photo. It comes in, reflects back, and hits a little mirror that sits right here focuses it back and then it shoots that light back into the eyepiece where I have my camera attached to when I'm taking pictures like that. You only have a couple of weeks left to see this rare comet. It's moving at more than 135,000 miles per hour. It's getting brighter every day but it's also getting smaller every day because it's already made its uh, closest approach to earth but it hasn't made its closest approach to the sun okay. and it'll start to dim out and slowly shoot by earth and go back into space. If you would like to know the best times to view this comet, make sure to click the story on our app. Reporting for Local 3 News, I'm Audrey Shirley.